went to Mexico about a month ago and played for some uh, a wedding. These uh, fans, friends, flew me down to Mexico. Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Vallarta. Not a lot of Mexicans around there. I tell you what, we've been down there before. It's like all Americans. I wasn't steeped in the culture or anything like that. There's a senior frogs on just about every corner. <laughs> Apparently that's the town where the first senior frogs was. You know what I'm talking about? The senior frogs? It's like a like a t-shirt shop or something like that. They just opened one in Hawaii, a bar. Like, I guess they're going after the hard rock cafe sort of model, you know? sell t-shirts and mugs and jackets and all this stuff. They branded themselves well in Puerto Vallarta. But I've been to Puerto Vallarta about 25 years ago. Back when I was about six. <laughs> Wow, what does a bus? It's around the corner. 
What? He goes, yeah. Oh, no, he's going to fucking roll me. You know? But I have to get out of this town. So, oh, you know, we're on the corner. I go on the first corner. It's not there. He's going, no, oh, no, come on, come on. The bus is around this corner. I look back at my girlfriend who's in line still holding our place, who had gotten in the hole, you know. Montezuma's Revenge or whatever. So she wanted to stick right by the bathroom. And we're on one more corner. Sure enough, there's a bus. Start up, you know, it's running. The door's open. The bus driver's standing outside smoking a cigarette. He's like, this, this, this bus is heading north day? North? Bus tickets are usually like, I don't know what bus tickets were usually, but this was a great leap. Increased price. It's like, what do you guys? Okay. Apparently, the bus drivers do that. They hold out on the buses and then they come around and then, you know. So I went back there and got a ticket. And there's a bus. Really, really, no, 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 on a bus there, and then they filled this bus up. They filled it up like this bus. We were lucky we got a little space in the aisle, you know? Like, kind of stand, sort of sitting. Eventually, you settle down, and we're sitting in the aisle, and it's crowded. You know, this one lady had two chickens with her on the bus. It's just like in the movies. You know? We're going up the road. Three, four, five hours later. Luckily, she didn't have to go to the bathroom. All of a sudden, she could hold it. Wow. Finally, the bus pulls over on the side of the road. Everybody gets out. I guess this is the bathroom stop. Get out, bathroom stop. He goes to the bathroom. The bus driver opens up a compartment, the luggage compartment, and there, laying on a mattress, is, voila, another bus driver. He gets out, this bus driver goes in, goes to sleep. This bus driver, fresh, gets in the driver's seat and it's time to go another 10 hours. Go ahead. Wow. Right of course, we got pulled over, like when we got closer to the border. We got pulled over a couple hours before the border. At this point, we had seats actually. We were on a seat, some people had gotten off, so we were passed out. Um, and woke up to the, you know, rrr, 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 you know, these Mexican cops with the machine guns, like pointing at us and going, throw, 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 no, no, no drugs, no drugs, no drugs. Searched our bags real quick. And, I mean, we were the only gringos on the bus. So they searched us real good and continued on our way. That's 